the weather got so bad I don't know what to do <laughs> okay, so I changed our itinerary again I'm gonna cut through Arkansas as soon as I change it it stopped raining so I'm taking it as a sign that I'm doing the right thing I'm about to fucking cry it's awful I can't even see an exit oh it's public for panic attack it's because of God Here, holy shit that is a burger I survived the night. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm super confused. But I mean, when do I ever know what I'm doing? I'm just a confused human overall. I just want to get out of like, because there's supposed to be storms again. So I just want to drive as far away from them. I'm really hungry right now. I went to a Whole Foods to get myself some healthier snacks because I'm about to like destroy my body so i got myself two carrots i got myself some grapes and i got myself so many crisp apples they were more expensive but they're the best ones so that's what i'm gonna eat the grapes. and i know the grapes i'm gonna eat them straight out of the bag and i know i need to wash them but you know what i don't have that luxury so i'm just gonna wipe them on my pants and you know what Worst case scenario, you don't usually die right now if you get a disease or whatever. Mm. So I do have time to bring my body back to the country. So my parents don't have to deal with the shipment of my body. So it's fine. I'll be in Canada when I die. Yum. Okay, so I just passed through a toll and they were like, oh, where are you coming from? And I was like, I don't know. And I was like, they were like Oklahoma City or Tulsa. And I was like, shit, I didn't stop at any of those. So I had no fucking clue. So I was like, I, I don't know. I was like, Canada. And they were like, we don't know where that is. And I'm like, oh. And then I was like, um, Arkansas. And they were like, oh yeah, that's probably Tulsa. And I was like, oh. But anyways, I was terrified. And I felt stupid. Anyways, it was 75 cents. Went to Gigi's. Actually, I found out that it was not Gigi. It's Gigi. So I went to Gigi's. I bought more popcorn now i'm on my way to the nut shop and i want my stamp give me my stamp then we're gonna go on cars on route which is closed but i still want to see it take a picture because like it's a disappointment like i don't care i don't care about the shop i don't want to see it go inside i just want to see the cars that's it that's all and then i'm out i wanted to go to the drive through theater but the one in missouri is like at the beginning so i won't even like we're Tuesday today and it's only Fridays and Saturday and Sunday so uh, I'm gonna check in Kentucky because there's some a few drive through in Kentucky and that would be kind of really fun to do before like going back home because back home they all close except for one I was at the nut shop I got my stamp there you go I got the stamp and um, and there's this French woman that's working uh, from France and so we started talking she lives like in a trailer park so she invited me to like camp at hers she makes spaghetti and everything so she invited ace and i to go and so i was a bit nervous and but in the end we kept on talking and i think i'm gonna do it no actually i'm gonna do it i said i was gonna do it okay i'm game i'm game i'm gonna go camp at a stranger's house i can do this oh my god this is nerve-wracking oh she offered me a shower and also place to sleep so like and food so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna i'm gonna go to a stranger's place it sounds like such a bad idea <laughs> i'm in oklahoma but she's from france and i feel like already there's a connection since we were both speaking in french so i mean <sighs> i have trust issues but i gotta put a bit of trust in humanity and i have ace so if there's anything so i'm feeling confident about this i'm doing it i'm not telling my parents i'm gonna camp at a stranger's house but i will tell them my location just in case but i won't be telling them where i'm sleeping because they will kill me if they find out but i'm gonna do this and then i'll tell them once it's done and i'm alive and then tomorrow i'm gonna keep driving there's supposed to be a huge storm so i'm either staying there an extra night she said she has a a, a storm shelter which makes me feel even more nervous now because like does that mean the storm is gonna be really bad anyways so i'm gonna stay there tonight Hopefully, I'll drive out tomorrow. If the storm is too bad, I'm gonna stay there for another night. And then I'm gonna go home. Well, to Kentucky at least. But yeah. Fingers crossed. I'll see you guys when I'm over there to give you an update that I'm still alive.
Hi, so I'm still alive. Um, I stayed the night at her name is Steffi. So this is where I'm staying. This is her RV. And she lives with her husband and they're really nice. They're really sweet. So I'm gonna stay an extra night because there is this huge storm. Right now it calmed down, but it should be back. It's on and off all day. So I'm gonna stay here an extra night and then tomorrow I'm gonna head off. But like I've met like everyone. We ordered pizza and we hung out there with like the people in the RV park because she lives in an RV park. I don't know if I said that. It's not a trailer park. It is an RV park because it sounds <laughs> less trashy. That's what they told me. I'm gonna hang out with Steffi again. Her husband is working late again. So I'm gonna hang out tonight and then tomorrow I should head out. I also met this girl, Addie. Uh, she's from Oklahoma. She's from around here. Um, and she came by yesterday. She works with Steffi. We exchanged like social media and so today we're gonna hang out together are you okay <gasps> so ignore monkey oh barking in the back <coughs> monkey it's just thunder turns out uh <coughs> when i said the thunder was so bad that there was uh the the entire place was shaking yeah i found out like there are actually uh, earthquakes so they have earthquakes in oklahoma and i didn't know so whenever i was freaking out i was like oh my god the thunder like it must be striking so close because like the entire place is shaking no it's an earthquake <laughs> so like all night like last night it was so bad like shit shook and then they were like yeah they're just small earthquakes and i'm like those are not small earthquakes like when we have earthquakes back home like i don't even feel it like i wouldn't even be able to tell you we have them so yesterday we, we went to eat in a mexican restaurant the food was so good wait i'm gonna show you so here are my leftovers it was this big like i had to eat a burrito with a knife and fork. it has avocado on top with like chicken and rice so good it was my first experience eating a burrito with a fork and knife uh and then we went to the hard rock cafe actually i gambled 10 bucks and i won 36 cents the first time and 26 afterwards but i did gamble my 36 cents really don't gamble so i was like i'll just put 10 bucks they say i did it once in my life and then i'm out i i don't want to vlog with them just because like i don't know i just want to enjoy the time i have with people so not a lot of content but I'm enjoying myself with that, so it matters for hate. Okay, so I'm currently on my way to see Oklahoma Wild Bison. So it's in like the tall grass. Uh, I'm going to get Addie. Uh, she knows the place, so uh, we're gonna go visit that. Exciting, I've never seen a wild bison. I'll see you guys in the tall grass prairies. I think that's the name. In Oklahoma, because I'm still in Oklahoma. I'm back. I just dropped my friend back home. We went to see the buffaloes, the wild horses. Oh my god, I wanted to see wild horses so bad, and we went to see them. And Ace is being a pain in the ass. I also ate this croissant from I don't remember the name but it's a really popular place